welcome back, I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 12 of season 5 of The Vampire Diaries. This time the title of the episode is The Devil Inside and I'm excited to watch this episode because it ended with a really big cliffhanger with the fact that Catherine is now on Elena's body so I'm excited to see that, I'm excited how that is going to play to, uh, out and uh, I just wanna, I, I wanna be honest, I am a little bit afraid to go into the comments for the previous episode. Uh, here's the thing, I was, and I still am, really, really excited that I got to react to 100, episode of, 100 episodes uh, of The Vampire Diaries. So far, I have 300, 328 uh, comments. I have read, like, the last one or two, like, the last two, technically. And uh, I honestly, I don't want to get, I don't, I don't want to read them all. I don't know if people, you know, uh, like the reaction. I think they, they, you guys did. There is a lot more likes than dislikes. So that is a good thing. Um, but I, I just, I just want, there's a, there's one thing I think people don't understand sometimes about reactions. Reactions, at least for me, and I'm talking about myself, reactions for me is not a way to please people. Uh, I'm, I'm forever grateful that so many people like my reactions, so many people connect with them, so many people think, say, oh my god, I reacted the same way you did back when this was first airing and I love your excitement about certain characters and how you pick up things and I love that. I love that I am able to connect with all of you. For me, my reaction videos have always been about connecting to people that watch the same shows that I do because I normally don't get to talk on a daily basis with uh, friends so they can tell me if they like the shows that I'm watching and all that so for me this has always been my outlet to be myself to be uh, excited about the shows that I watch and to get to interact with a bunch of people I am grateful that for the Vampire Diaries I have been able to reach such an important milestone of a hundred episodes and still going because I'm going to react to every single episode of the Vampire Diaries uh, but the thing is that I need you to you guys to understand that my reactions, my comments will always be I will always be true to myself. If I feel bad about a character, I will feel bad about a character. If I don't like a character, I will say it even if that is the fan favorite character. You know, uh, I I since I do so many shows, I don't remember specifically what I used to say about Damon when I used to ship stay Lena hardcore like not as hardcore as Daylena they did they just bring something out of me but I, I used to call Stefan puppy Stefan and like I was really excited about them and I didn't understood Damon and all that until then you know things were coming out about him and I understand him a little bit better uh, and like I have said it's, it's really stupid to call someone uh, some to, to call someone out just because you like a character and like I said, this has always been about me watching the show and enjoying the show and sharing my reactions with you. I am for no... Thankfully, my reactions and my comments, it's what the majority of people think. But there will be times, like previous the previous episode, where I don't like a character and I will say what I, what I don't like about the character. That's sadly for some people, that's not going to change. I'm not going to change to please some... I'm not gonna change to uh, get more views or anything. That's not how it works. My channel, and you guys have to understand this, my channel, it's and always will be about me. This is about me sharing my reactions with you, my experience watching the show with all of you. That's it. Uh, I remember there was episodes of season one, or season two, I think, when Bonnie, like, she was really judgmental of Stephen, and I also got really defensive. You can go back to those episodes, I don't remember the number, uh, but when, when she used to be really judgmental of, of Stephen, and 
of Elena's and Stefan relationship because you know he was to her eyes he was a monster uh, and she didn't understand Elena and all that and I didn't like Bonnie for a while I was like why is she so judgmental and all that and then the character grew on me and then the character started to change and then the character begin to really be someone who I admire now you know and someone who I love now and I have never been a hundred percent a uh, Claroline fan not a, I like that they are sweet moments but I have never say I'm a hardcore um, uh, uh, I never I have never said I'm a hardcore Claroline shipper so I don't understand why some people got like upset about the fact that I didn't react the way you wanted me to react but that is not how it works you know uh, but I mean I'm happy that I got to react to 100 episodes I am happy that I still get the support that uh, that I get because you guys are wonderful uh, when people tell me you know in a polite way I don't think you're doing like you're not judging the character in a good way or you're being too biased towards someone else and you when you have a polite discussion it's really nice but I am honestly afraid to go into the comments I have just before I started this I re I I watch I read two comments and I was like mm -mm, I'm not gonna read more cuz I'm gonna get sad for some reason and I don't want that because it was a really it is a really important milestone uh, but I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie I'm that's not gonna happen I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie to myself if I, I don't like someone I didn't like Matt I also didn't like Matt now I tolerate my Matt I really like him I ship him with Jeremy hardcore uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just hope that for the next seventy-one or seventy-six episodes, I don't know, I don't remember, that we still have, we can make peace with the fact that I might not like the characters you guys like, and that is okay. And uh, you know, the show is over for you guys, and and maybe you get upset because eventually maybe Caroline gets better. I don't know. I will be the judge of that. But sometimes you don't like a character, you know. And for instance, on Pretty Little Liars, I hate Ezra, and I also hate uh, Paige with passion. And I have always been really open about it, and I have always said. But I think it's just because the majority of Pretty Little Liars fans hate those two characters. Uh, but the thing is that I have always expressed myself. Uh, wh whichever character it is that I don't like at the moment, I will say it. And if I like it, I will say it again, you know, there is nothing set in stone. That is what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I hope you guys continue supporting, continue liking my reactions, even, you know, if by the end of the season, I'm sorry, by the end of the series, I end up having two views of two people who just like my reactions, I will be grateful because at least I get to connect with someone. And that will be, it is still meaningful to me to get to connect to people, so yeah. Like I said, I don't, I'm honestly don't don't want to get into the comment sections. I don't want to get into fights. I don't want to get into anything. You heard my point of view. I still I stand by my point of view. I don't like Caroline at the moment. I don't hate her, you know, but I don't like Caroline uh, at the moment. I, I think she's a bit of a hypocrite sometimes. But we will see how it goes. We will see how she develops. It's not like I'm closing the door on Caroline. And I'm like, no, Caroline can't change and fuck her. No, I'm just saying, at this precise moment, with this attitude, I don't like Caroline. But there's always room to improve, man. I understand. I hear your comments, which I haven't read, but I kind of believe because I had a conversation with a friend about it. And uh, he was able to explain me a lot of things. And I was also uh, really, like, I was able to tell him... Um, what I thought, you know, and my, my opinion hasn't changed, like, Carol, Caroline half and needs, if she wants, you know, needs to hate Damon, her, if she wants to hate him her entire life, she has every right to do it, uh, because yes, Damon was awful to her, uh, so has been Klaus. And that is, that is the, where she's kind of a hypocrite for me. But she has every right to hate Damon. Every right. But 
at least she should be understanding towards Elena, understanding that you don't you don't uh, control your heart. You don't get to say to your heart, you can love this person or you can love, you have to love that person. The heart wants what the heart wants, you know? And I think that she has learned that. I hope that she has learned that by what happened with her and Klaus in the previous episode. I hope that she has learned that. I hope that she has understand that, you know, love is love and um, you don't choose who you fall in love with. And I hope that and yes, uh, uh, the fact that she, this is the first time she has acted on it, acted on it, uh, that doesn't make her better than Elena, which I sometimes believe the character gives that vibe, that she believes that she's better than Elena, that she's better than Damon. Maybe she is, I don't know, it's, it's all in the gray. For me, every character is in the gray area. Maybe not Jeremy. Kind of Jeremy as well when he killed the werewolves, the werewolf. Um, kind of Jeremy a little bit, but like, I feel like everyone is in the gray area in this show. Um, some of them are a little bit darker than others, but still, all of them in the gray area. Anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Hope that you guys continue supporting. Don't forget, if you want to be part of my next reaction video for episode 13, uh, you can send me your reactions and your comments uh, on the Stardust app using the link in the description down below, download the app, uh, and then follow me first at JulieDG. Send me your reactions by tagging me at JulieDG there, and you're going to be featured on my reaction video, like in the beginning. Like, it's going to be your face right there. So if you want to be part of it, that will be really amazing, and I will totally like it. <laughs> it's also really late. It's, about, it's 11 20 p.m. 11 11 18 p.m. Can you see it? But I'm, I'm, I'm excited to watch this episode. Like, really, really excited. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy 101 episodes. Here we go. So, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with episode 12 of season 5 of The Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Another doppelganger. Yep. <laughs> Not really. Is she? Is she? You're good, really. Well, it's a good day. We're alive. Yes, we are. <laughs> We're partying. Oh, it's Nadia. Take the fun right out of it, why don't you? Is so your dead and what hits you right in your brain? Yeah, oh, just no. like you, like they did Until it to you. you. Permanent. Wait, wait, Hello? what? The hair, Bonnie or Caroline? You love them both equally. Well, that's a shocker. <laughs> I just have one. Do you want to tell me what you're doing over there? Get on the bed. Is it gonna get kinky? Elena decides to show up. Greater joy than to deny her dying wish. Come Even on! Sure. Catherine's dead. Just give her the damn body. It's ruined our lives. Nadia's known her what? Five minutes. Well, that's her daughter. I mean, where is she? Isn't Nadia stronger than him? Why is she being a control? What the hell is going on with her? Stop it! I will be real, like, relaxed if I just fuck Klaus. I'll, I'll come back later. I'm really sorry. It's okay, he's a good guy. For everything. I will. Okay. This just make what what Damon did even worse, you know, be killing old Whitmores and shit. Aaron Whitmore. And so, hey, 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 he hasn't done anything bad. Oh no, so. How would you like to be judged solely based on who you're attracted to? I like this tea. Oh my god, it's hot and this is spilling. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. I need to stop being like this. But I love it. <sighs> what? Should I do something? <laughs> yes. I just mean, are you sure that this is what you really want? You know? Like Elena and Damon, or Damon and Elena? Yes, we want Daylena. There's a nickname in there somewhere. Yeah, Daylena. Actually think Daylena. Well, where the hell is she? Well, <laughs> funny thing. Does that thing ever shut up? 
You should have shot it up. But doesn't she have like Netflix to watch something? Uh oh, and Lena's trying to take control. Oh shit. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> At least she knows. Yes. Oh, no. I love that she's no longer. Call her back. Oh, my God. Hello, Elena. You. You put Catherine inside of me instead of you. Beat. Oh, shit. That's it? That's all it takes? I'm not giving the body back. Quick, give me the damn. Wait, is she the tomb? You the powder face. This is my you're being the dick face. Yes. You Wait, are being a dick. Back. It's making you completely... Caroline agreed to help you get Elena back. <laughs> Caroline, is it... You? Yeah. You hate me. True. You once told me that calling me Satan was an insult. <laughs> Poor Satan. Nobody's perfect. Oh. This change of heart. This is what it's come to. I don't need this. And I don't need your help. <laughs> Guess you better try Elena again. I love one thing about about Stefan that I don't say it enough. He's so mature. Even if no, I did say this in the previous episode. Even if uh, Damon is the older one, see, honestly, uh, uh, Stefan seems like the oldest one. He he just he's just you know he's so in touch with his feelings. And Damon isn't, so that is a big, big difference between the two of them. And that is why he's a lot more mature than Damon. Seriously, I've impersonated Elena mm -hmm. a million times. I can mimic everything about her. Yes. <laughs> different. You're not impersonating Elena. You are. You are Elena. True. What is her... Enzo. Enzo. Hello, Damon. Uh, you have something you have here? to attend to. Mr. Spot. <gasps> no! You kill Aaron? He killed da Aaron? Alright, love a good fire. So how are you? How are you dealing with the Catherine dying thing? Okay. Honestly, one thing before I forget. Honestly, right now, I really wish they don't go back to the Stephen and Lena thing because Stephen doesn't like Elena doesn't deserve Stephen. He's so big like everything he's doing this this whole thing about Letting her go, like truly letting her go so she can be happy with his brother. Do you realize how big that is? It's huge. It's a type of sacrifice that Damon couldn't do it. Because he loved Elena, but he couldn't walk away. And he's able to do that. And, and if you truly love someone, you have to let, let them go. If they come back, they were always yours. If they don't, they never were, so. Whoa. I get dipped sometimes from time to time. No, honestly, I'm 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 okay. Where she was always meant to be. In the cave, right? In the in the, the where she's used supposed to be. I said Damon. Uh what's that for right? your quality bourbon? It's right out his throat. So what if he was? He's a vampire. Surely my old friend's still in there someplace. This is still there. That ruthless Damon is still there. But right now, he's trying to put prove a point to Elena. Long story, because Elena would hate you for it. Yeah, it's not that long. You can't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you don't want to be in his. Holy shit. 
but I it's okay, swear I didn't sweetie. Really do it, and now I feel everybody making yeah. mistakes. And the person we're talking about is Klaus. Klaus. Oh wow, the awful person I am. You're not. You're acting <sighs> like a Actually, human. You're... Now that you've slept with Klaus, I mean. Shit. I... <laughs> I'm so not answering that. I'm oh sick. my god. She did that on purpose. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tyler. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, why are you looking at her like this? Oh, fuck off, Tyler. You don't get to call dips of her pussy. Or what? what the fuck? I don't know. Took you long enough. Hi! Aggressive! Ah! No! What the fuck? Now you're super smart. You know what, Tyler? He doesn't get to be pissed. He walked away, okay? She was single, ready to mingle. So don't judge her. Get out. Fuck off! No, thousands of people. Yes. Elena's aunt? True. An entire pack of hybrids, my friends. True. Caroline. His mom. He killed my mom. Okay, do not get aggressive. I know. Tyler. I, know. I said leave. You're drunk. Get your hands off me. What's the matter with you? Oh, you don't know? Oh, shut up. She screwed Klaus. So why? She already feels bad about it. So what? You know what? I, I can't judge all the things that she has been saying about Daylena. Well, what is that? If she sleeps with Klaus, it's not his deal. He walked away. He decided Klaus was more important to him. His revenge against Klaus was more important, which you know he has every right to do whatever he wants. I honestly would rather have him dead because I really don't care about Tyler, but. He doesn't, he doesn't, call, he can't get to this town now. And it's not shaming Caroline for fucking Klaus. Like, let her be. Like, and I, and, well, I don't think Stefan is going to judge her, to be honest. Stefan is not like that. She feels bad about it, okay? Exactly. Fuck off. Thank you. Thank you. You're drunk or not, she doesn't deserve that. Yeah, true. Thank you, Stefan, for them friending your friend. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> I love the fact that she's no longer a damsel in distress. You're not gonna get her in. <laughs> it's playing mine. <laughs> Bye, Catherine, for real. So I can get excited. I was down, Elena. I bailed because I was I was convinced I'd ruin you. That's yeah. not what this is about. No, I know, just hear me out. Just oh me poor out. Damon. You are literally the best person. He's so you cute. You are the best influence on me. That is true. Oh I need you. But you should be good just for yourself, you sweetie. Are the good. I need a little good in my life. But you have good in you, if you try. Because we're not a... The person you really are. What? Don't say it. That person was right to let me go. <gasps> this bitch! I'm 
sorry, Damon. There's no so Elena. Far. Fuck. We're over. Fucking Catherine, for fuck's sakes. She's right about one thing, about the fact that, yes, he has darkness inside of him, but he shouldn't make her her entire life, and he should be better on his own. But yeah, it, I mean, I agree with Catherine in that, but everything else that she just said is just to break his heart because she wants to get out, you know, and he, she doesn't want him to be looking for her. Look at her smile. And also, also pay back for all the things he did when she was dying, which was really uncalled for. But, you know, it's kind of like they're both villains, so... Look at him with his pretty eyes. Shit, Damon. Damon. Enjoying this little bit. No, no. No. Don't be like this with your brother. He's not enjoying that. He will never enjoy Damon hurting. That is not... That's not, that's just not him. That's not a step. No idea what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. They Which mean the Dalai Lama. Who the fuck cares? I don't care. Lasts forever. Neither Caroline or Klaus did this to her him. He's making it about him. It's not about you. Fuck off. I'm landing over its body. Until we no, kill her with the dagger. About that payment we discussed. <gasps> oh, there we go. There's your payment. Hmm. <laughs> she gave me the creeps anyway. <laughs> Not yet. Cold, manipulative, good hair. <laughs> you really are my tongue. It's true. If that's your way of thanking me, save it for the road. She's not going, isn't she? I'm not going anywhere. Oh, shit. She wants Stefan. I need you to just give it to me straight. Okay, Caroline. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop it. So that's hey, you know what? Sometimes you need to m make mistakes to understand others. Who will have known? If I will have known this on the previous episode, I wouldn't have been that harsh with her. Anyways, I was upset in the previous episode. <laughs> you are a horrible person. You are, you are thoughtless. You're shallow. You're completely undependable. <laughs> I am. I am vulnerable. Don't be me. Oh. You know what? Now that I think about it, I have no idea what Klaus saw in you. <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> making her laugh. Oh! What? Oh! Wait! Wait! That was a good scene. That was a good scene. I'm just saying. Is it Alina really gone? Oh no, Damon. Oh no, don't kill him. And so. Why is he <gasps> No. Damon's teaching me that I like the sounds they made. Shit. Did I realize they deserve this? Like you? He doesn't deserve this. Elena was too good for you. He didn't deserve that. Bad Damon. Okay guys, that was the end of episode 12 of season... Episode 12? Yes, episode 12 of season 5 of The Vampire Diaries. And, um... Okay, yes, the story moved forward a little bit with the fact that uh, Catherine took over Elena's body completely. Right when, when Elena and Damon reunite, that happens. I have to admit one thing. I am upset, yes, because you guys know that I shipped Elena, but I think this is a good point for Elena as to be a, a really a really good couple. Uh, and right now, Damon is being the psychopath that we know he is. And they can do, they can go either way. They can go with the he will remain being this, or finally give him 
a redemption arc, a real redemption arc that doesn't involve Elaine. We have been focused so much on the love triangle between Stefan and Elena and Damon for pretty much the entire first five seasons. We have known this with Damon, uh, they always like, Stefan always says Damon is a better p person because of Elena. And I remember saying this, I, I don't know if it's specifically exactly what I'm about to say, but I have always said that I don't want Damon to just change because of Elena. That he's just good when he's with Elena. He should be able to be mature enough, like Stefan is, that he knows his limits and he doesn't go beyond them because he doesn't want to be the monster he's so afraid that he's gonna be. There is one thing about embracing your vam vampirism and then there's another thing by being an actual monster, which that is what he's been. Now, Damon so far doesn't seem like he works on the good side if he doesn't have the help of someone. If he doesn't have the guid guidance of Elena, he just goes and murders people. And even sometimes Having Elena there, he still goes and do his revenge shit. Because we know that he went and killed the Whitmores when he was still with Elena in that fantastic summer that we didn't, didn't, uh, we never got to see. But the thing is with with him is that he he has like a really good place right now. He's in a really no, he's not in a good place, but the character could go into a real deep understanding of himself, Damon can do that, <coughs> and move forward. Because I don't think that we have seen him do things because he wants to do it. The only things that it, it looks like he wants to do is just kill. And I honestly want to see progress with him. I don't. I don't think that and I have always said this, I don't think, uh, I don't think he's as bad as he seems to be. He always says, and he said to Elena once, that he never likes to hold on into expe expectation to anyone. And what he was doing with Elena, when he says, you know, you made me a better person, and like, you're the lie because I have so much darkness and all that, it's wrong. You shouldn't change because someone makes you better. You should change because you want to. Because that will stick with you forever. Not like what he's doing, that he's only good when he's with Elena. Elena is not like, she can babysit him for the rest of her life. He's never, she, he, she shouldn't be that. She shouldn't have that much weight on herself, on her, by having to always save him. You know, always save him from himself. And I hope that in this awful path that he seems that like he's going, he learns that he has good in himself, that he can be better, that he can put a stop to it, that he is not the monster he believes he is. Because even if Elena says that he's a monster, it's not like he doesn't believe that already. And yes, I'm not gonna deny it, he's acting like a monster right now. He's, there is nothing good about what he's doing. But in terms of my expectations for the character, I hope that the writers really take this chance to prove that he can be better for himself, he'll help him deal with his demons, get better for himself, not for Elena, and then maybe in the future have them to... Also, Elena is kind of like... like she took over her body, so is, is it really... like, is it really over? Now, I honestly honestly uh, don't like the fact that they make him again the same person he used to be because you seem you you I thought there was some change on him but if you really think about it he was only doing it because of, of Elena and I don't want that type of Damon I want a Damon that really you know he is going to be good for himself not for anyone else maybe for his brother you know that that family love is to totally different from a you know, romantic kind of love. So if he wants to do it for his brother and for, you know, be better and all that, that will be good as well. 
but not for Elena. I don't want him to be better just for Elena, or that Elena is just the reason why he changed, you know? Uh, I actually want him to be good for himself, you know? And I think he has that in him. But it's like, he if he has a good influence, the same thing, like, he had a good influence with Alaric that he started behaving because he had a good influence with Alaric and Alaric being his friend, but Alaric, Alaric was able to call on, on his bullshit. Uh, which Elena is not able to do uh, because I don't know there might there there must be some truth to the fact that Elena sometimes forgives him easily you know and uh, that is not good because that doesn't let him grow so let's see if with this change awful change well not uh, not not change really but with this new way that he's gonna act uh, maybe he will change for the better for himself you know. Uh, because Elena can be responsible for every single person he kills. Like, he just killed Aaron. And Aaron has, like, he, he doesn't have even a single bad bone on him. He is good. He didn't deserve this. He didn't, he even stopped f founding the Augustine Society. Just so no more vampires do that. No more, no more doctors do that with vampires. Of course, Damon didn't knew about it, but at least he could have asked, or like at least tried to be a decent person and not kill the the kid. But now, since he has the influence of, of Enzo, he's right doing what he he says that he likes to do. He says that he likes to do it, and I'm not I'm not even going to deny that I don't believe that he does. He does enjoy it, <laughs> uh, which is a bad thing. It's a bad trait of him. But it is what he is, you know? He is a vampire, ultimately. He is has those animalistic things inside of him. So, of course, he, he knows. And, of course, he, he uh, feels that and, and, and wants to continue doing those things because it's we have been told how exhilarating and how good that is for vampires. How good it, that makes them feel. So, he's just in, like, in touch with his animalistic side right now. Which, I mean, I hope it's for the better for the character if he, he can grow. But if he's just going to be a monster, then he really didn't deserve to be with Elena. Because Elena is, you know, overall she's not bad. You know, well, mm, mm, it's debatable. But it's, she's not that bad. So, if she if he wants to be with him, then she re he really needs to be a good man for his own, not for Elena. You know? Uh, then you have Caroline. Which, it looks like the fact that she slept with Klaus put some sense on her and she realized that, you know, I'm being a, bit, a little bit judgmental. And what I like about Caroline, and especially that conversation with Damon, is that they both don't deny the fact that they, you know, that Damon doesn't care about her and the fact that uh, Caroline despises Damon. Is that good? That's good. I don't, I don't want... A sudden change of heart and she's all Team Day Lena, that won't make sense. That, that won't make sense and I wouldn't like that. Um, but here's the thing with Tyler, okay? He left. What happened with uh, Klaus and Caroline will have never happened if he decided to stay with Caroline. He didn't. He decided revenge was better than love. He left. He has no right to come here and say, Oh, but he killed my mother and he killed my, my family and my everything and Elena's aunt and all of the bad things that he has done and you slept with him. Like, I feel like it's more of a territorial thing that he feels rather than deep real feelings for Caroline. It's like... He doesn't want Klaus to touch his his toy and Tla Klaus touch it, and now he's do having a tantrum. Like, I, honestly, I couldn't care less about about Tyler. I honestly hate me, love me, whatever, but I don't care about Tyler. And I think that is really wrong. That, like, it's wrong for him to say things to Caroline, to out Caroline the way he did. I don't like it. He has no right over Caroline. No right to be offended, to be sad, to be uh, upset. Well, he, he can get, he, he can be upset and sad and upset, but not towards Caroline. 
because Caroline asked him, stay with me and I will, you know, we will move on, we will move on and we will be together and blah blah blah. He left. What the fuck did he expect it? For her to become a nun? And now, like I have said, you don't, I don't judge her for, for sleeping with Klaus. I think that at least she learned something good from that. You know, at least she learned that you cannot control feelings, you cannot control desire, and, um, you know, she is not better than anyone else. That she is just, you know, she can make mistakes just as everyone else. But I have to admit, though, I really like the Stephen Caroline conversation. They really have a lot of chemistry. This is the this is the second time I have seen this amount of chemistry, like that it could turn into something else. Because the first one when, was when they were talking like dancing, and they were like, you will find someone, or like someone is maybe near you or something like that. I was like, are they foreshadowing to someone, to something? Maybe they are, because it was really cute. It was really cute. Um, then you have, uh, of course, what is her name? Catherine doing that to Elena. I don't think that's the end, so I really don't think that's the end of Elena. But I also like the fact that Elena now is not the, no, no longer the damsel in distress. She can take care of herself. Y you know, she can fight magic, but at least she's able to take care of herself a little bit. So yeah, really good episode. Uh, let's see what Catherine ha will have in store for us. What's gonna happen? What she's gonna do? I don't think Stephen is gonna be like welcoming Elena again because like he kind of like just like she kind of like just sleep with her brother with his brother so I don't think he will be like oh yeah we can have sex again or be together again I don't, mm, I don't think that's how it works so yeah well I'm excited to continue watching but also it's really late so I need to sleep hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video give it a thumbs up if you love uh, the vamp blah, blah. The Vampire Diaries. Subscribe to see more reaction videos because I do reaction videos for a lot of shows. Comment on the comment section down below and that's about it. Thank you so much for all your support. I will see you guys next time for another reaction video for The Vampire Diaries. Mwah. Bye guys!